Hey everybody and welcome back to Twin Server Studio. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your PlayStation 4 controller on Dolphin Emulator on Android phone. Now if you don't know how to sync your PlayStation 4 controller up to your phone, I also have a video on that and the link will be in the description down below. And if you want to know how to install Dolphin Emulator on your Android phone, there is also another video for that on my channel and the link will be in the description down below. Now once you've got Dolphin Emulator installed and your PlayStation 4 controller hooked up, the first thing you're going to want to do is to open Dolphin Emulator and click the three dots and click the three dots in the top right corner. Then it's going to come up with a menu. Let me get rid of that overlay for you. And on the menu, you're going to want to click GameCube Input. There we go. And then you're going to want to click GameCube Controller and click where it says Emulated. And it's going to bring up this menu here with buttons A, B, X, Y, Z, start. Now this is the same as the PC version, only it's a little bit more compact. Now this is easy to set up for a GameCube controller, but for the Wii controller, there's a lot more to go through. So that's going to be in a separate video. So first we're going to do A button, the big A button on your so the first thing you're going to do, the A button, which is the big A button on a GameCube controller, you're going to want to press that. And then on your PlayStation controller, press the button you want to assign. So I'm going to assign X to this. And then for B, I usually assign circle. Press that. And as you see, it says wireless controller button 97. I don't know where it gets 97 from, but 97 is there. Then for X, I usually choose triangle. Press triangle. And then for Y, I usually put that at square. So X, circle, triangle, and square, they're all set up. And then the Z button, which is the top, the top right button, the purple button, press R1. And then for start, obviously, I'm going to use the options button. Ooh. So press the options button. And there we go. Then control stick, which is the analog stick. So press up where it says up, and then just move the left analog stick up. And it'll say same again for down, 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 left. Which way is left here? Left, right, right. So that should move that. And then the C stick, which is the right analog stick, right analog stick up, right analog stick down. Right analog stick, left, that was right, right analog stick, left, right analog stick, right. So that's the C stick sorted. And then for the triggers, using L2 for the L and R2 for the R. And then the D-pad, pretty obvious there. Up on the D-pad, press down, down on the D-pad. Press left, left on the D-pad, press right, right on the D-pad. So you just press the button. So you just press the button on the screen and then press the button on your controller. Really simple, really easy. Then you press the save button in the top right corner here and that will save all your settings to the any files. So we're going to test this out with Super Smash Brothers Melee. Let's see if this works. So as you can see, I am now moving this left and right using the analog stick and press yes because I want to create a new memory card on the system. Let's go to training because that's the best way to check to see if all the buttons work. So we need to pick Fox, final destination. What is your favorite Super Smash Brothers melee map? Where's I've not unlocked Final Destination yet. Let's just make it random. I think we're in the Mushroom Kingdom. So there is Smash, Jump. 
So I'm pressing... And the C-stick. Why is the C-stick not working? Oh yeah, it is. It's moving that around. Grab. So press grab, right stick. <laughs> Everything is running smooth. Fantastic. And the game actually runs really smooth. 60 frames per second. On Super Smash Brothers Melee on an Android phone. Honestly, I never, ever would have believed that. Years and years ago, I never would have believed it. There's no controls section on this one, is there? So there you have it. So there you have it. That is how to... Is it it? So there you have it, that is... So there you have it, that is how to... So there you have it, that is how to configure a PlayStation 4 controller for Dolphin Emulator on Android phone. So you can play Super Smash Bros. Melee, Super Mario Sunshine, and any other game... Super Smash Bros. Melee, Super Mario Sunshine, and any other GameCube game on your Android phone. I find that absolutely amazing. Especially when this is running at 60 frames per second, and it is running so so well if you like this video please hit that like button if you're new here please consider subscribing to the channel if you want to see more videos like this more tutorials like this then stay tuned to the channel there's going to be plenty of these coming out over the next few days over the next few weeks if you've got any questions then please let me know down in the comments and i will be happy to help and as always don't do anything i wouldn't do